Greetings. For today's video we will cover how to create a basic task in the informant application and how to create a checklist. We will also explain how to assign a task to a specific sync service. Before we begin we'll be using an iPad Air 2 with informant version 5.43 and iOS 12 and the device will be in the landscape orientation. The task mode is the default GTD or getting things done. This device does have a home button all other iOS devices will operate in a similar fashion. Beginning in the task view, tap the Add button. Notice at the top of the editor it will say Add Task. Tap the Title field to enter the title of your new task. Next, select a project. This is a very important selection as this field determines where the task will be synced. Notice that the top field shows the name of the sync service, then below that the name of the project. If the name of the sync service you wish to use is not listed over the top of the project name, then the task will not sync to that service. Below the project field is the start and do field. Tapping them will open the date or time picker. If you want to set a start date, you can do so by tapping the Start field. In this case, we'll be using the Do field. Most tasks do have a due date, and you will, see, you will set that here. If you want to add a due time, you can do that by tapping the Time Picker next to the due date and dialing in the time you wish to enter. An alarm can be added to your task by tapping the alarm field. In this task we have the default alarm already set as you can see in the editor. The informant application supports multiple task modes, getting things done or GTD, Franklin Covey, and basic mode. As stated earlier we will be using the GTD or getting things done mode. The remaining fields in the task editor are optional and can be used in any combination. We'll give a brief overview of each. Repeat allows you to set a recurrence pattern for your task. Context will allow you to create or select a context to be applied to your task, such as grocery store or work. The parent field will allow you to choose an existing task and designate the task you are creating to be a child or subtask of the chosen parent task. Action will allow you to specify a next action for this particular task. Priority provides a label that you can use to set the priority level of your task. Completion percentage allows a method to tell at a glance how far along you are in the completion of the specific task. The tags, icons, and color field are self-explanatory and allow for further granularity or labeling of your task. Select as child will allow you to select an existing task to become the, a subtask of the task you are creating or you will have the option to create a new subtask to this task. Sensitivity is a label field that is similar to priority. Below that are the Comments and Add URL field. Again, these are self-explanatory. In the Comments field, you can add notes pertaining to the task, and if a link is needed, you can put that into the URL field to make it active. Finally, we have some function buttons at the bottom of the editor. The buttons are used to attach specific items to your task. While the informant application will allow you to attach items here, only the informant sync service can sync the items attached. Starting from left to right, we have the camera button. Tap this to take a photo and attach it to the task. Or tap the middle button to attach an existing photo on the device to the task. Tap the far right button to attach one of your contacts to the task. This is not an invite, but simply attaching the contact information to the task. Finally, tap the save button at the top right of the task to save it. If your task is being synced, it is this action that will prompt the task to be synced from informant to the selected sync service. Another feature of the task view is the ability to create a checklist. 
This is a simple checklist nested or residing inside of a task. To create a checklist, tap the Add button, then pull down on the Editor and select the Checklist button. Now repeat the same steps that we previously discussed for creating a new task such as title, set a start and due date, etc. Then tap the enter checklist item to start adding items to your list. Once your checklist items are added, you can add more elements to your task as discussed previously or you can save it. Once saved you can see in the list of tasks that the checklist has an expansion arrow. Tapping this will reveal the checklist you just created and you can complete the times by tapping the box on the left. Tapping the summary view of the task will show you the task and the status of the checklist items. We hope this simple overview of tasks and checklists has been helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact Informant Support at pocketinformant.com forward slash support or in-app via the Submit Case option in the settings. Thank you for watching today and please have a productive day.